But President Obama announcing plans to use his pen and his telephone yet again, this time vowing to bypass Congress on immigration reform. This after House Speaker John Boehner declared any chance for legislation this year is now off the table. Meanwhile, Republicans say it was the president's policies that created the immigration crisis in the first place. But the president blames the House GOP. Lou Dobbs is host of Lou Jobs Tonight on the Fox Business Network. Man, oh man, Lou, it is a mess. You've got this flood right now in the southern part of the border, all these kids and others coming from Central America, thinking they can just come and become American citizens. Well, and the reason for that is this president has made a mess of it. Uh, he has sent uh, a very clear message to, to Central America, to Mexico, that uh, he is, through executive action, going to ease all immigration standards and laws. He's refused effectively to enforce immigration law for some three years now and continues through executive order uh, to you know, create a, a public advocate for uh, illegal immigrants in this country, releasing families, illegal immigrant families from detention. Uh, he has effectively invited what is now on our border, and that is a, uh, a tens of thousands of young people who have been told, you know, go to America and Mr. Obama will uh, ignore the laws. He will refuse to enforce border security as he has done now for years. And you can just cross in and if you follow these instructions, you'll be granted asylum and special privileges. But the White House would say they've been enforcing security. They're bolstering the budget. They're moving assets from the, quote, interior to the southwest. He said he would do that. And at the same time saying that they are yeah. trying to enforce the yeah. law, as well as blaming the House GOP for not agreeing to the Senate bill. Yeah, and, and that's an interesting thing, blaming the GOP, because he is the one whose uh, public statements have uh, attracted those people on our border, creating what he calls a humanitarian crisis. Uh, that's entirely on him. As a matter of fact, I think you would have to be very naive to think that his administration was not working in concert with the governments of El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and the government of Mexico to move all of those children from 1,800 miles away, think about this, 1,800 miles away through the heart of Mexico to our border. That doesn't happen by accident. Do, do you think any parent would send their nine-year-old alone up to America? I don't have to think it. Uh, we're witnessing it. And they are doing so using human smugglers and, uh, uh, and the drug cartels who run them to move those children. Uh, up to the border. It's so, unconscionable. Uh, it is uh, absurd that there is even a debate in this country right now as to whether or not this president is responsible. So what do we do about it? And how, what do we do about these kids? Look at these faces. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. okay, they, some may be here illegally, mm -hmm. but what do you do when you're dealing with fellow human beings who've come in like this and you just send them back? How do you get the well, message out there? that's precisely what we do for our closest neighbors. Mm -hmm. That is Canada and Mexico under law. We are required to return them to their homes. Uh, there is an exception that has been written for uh, countries like Central America where they are moved instead of through the Customs and Border Patrol for deportation and return to their homes. Uh, they are sent to the Health and Human Services Department where they are provided for and thus begins a long process that ultimately in all practicality results in their being left here in mm -hmm. this country. And what should we do? You have 13 million plus uh, uh, illegal immigrants who are here already. Sure. I, mean, what? I mean, you can't put them in a box and throw them back. And, and, and the polls show 67% say that there should be a pathway to citizenship. It is, the, it is one of the great issues of our time what do you think we should do? Can this actually be solved? I think it can be, and intelligently and wisely. A path to citizenship, there is no way in the world in which that path to citizenship should preempt the rights of those who have uh, entered into the legal process to immigrate to this country. But that's what this president is doing. De facto amnesty is what he is creating. And what is the solution if he does not secure the borders? I, I, I mean, there is a rising backlash against this president for what he's created and his political, his political exploitation of those tens of thousands of young people is utterly unconscionable. Uh, there will be consequences. And this president, I don't think, has thought this one out very clearly at all. Lou Dobbs, good to see you. Thank Great you so much. You, and we'll see you on the Fox Business Network, of Got course. Got a deal. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks.